Cars.com Auto Review. Hi, I'm Dave Thomas with Cars.com, and this is a 2013 Lexus GS. It's been completely redesigned and has an impressive mix of style and performance, but what's surprising is how comfortable it is and the top-notch interior too. Now it's going to need all that because it's a competitive segment. The GS is going to draw stares because it's the first Lexus featuring the company's new design direction, and all of it is focused on this really unique grille. If you're talking about sports sedans, you want to know about the GS's engine. Now, while the rest of the car is all new, inside and out, the engine remains the same as last year. It's a 306 horsepower V6, and you can only get a V6 with the GS. There is no V8 option. However, there will be a hybrid out later this year. While a lot of other cars these days have much more than 306 horsepower, it is comparable to BMW's 535i. That car is a turbocharged six-cylinder with 300 horsepower. I've driven them both back to back, and they seem almost the same in terms of speed. And in fact, both their 0 to 60 times are identical as well, 5.7 seconds. The biggest difference is this Lexus is 273 pounds lighter than the BMW. And when you're on a closed course taking tight turns, you can definitely feel that weight. Recent Lexus interiors have gotten a bit dated and their dashboards are just overwhelmed in a sea of buttons, but all that's changed in the GS. Now you might think the entire dashboard would be overwhelmed by this gigantic LCD screen, and while that's a cool modern convenience to have, I like these nice touches like this analog clock and these retro inspired dials around the CD player adds a lot to the interior. One of the standout features is a new multimedia system. Lexus calls it Inform, and it's part of a pricey option package and you're not going to find many of these on the lots without it, so you better get used to it. Luckily, it offers a really nice, gigantic screen, big graphics, easy to read, and surprisingly easy to use. When the system first debuted in the Lexus RX, I didn't really like it, mainly because of the knob controller you have to use to navigate between all the screens. Luckily, Lexus has improved upon it greatly. Now you can tell when you're highlighting on something else just by the feedback in the knob itself. They've also put a couple of shortcut buttons right above the knob which help out a ton, namely one for this menu and one for the navigation system. In between those two buttons, a nice little rocker to help you zoom in and out, one of the easiest systems I've seen in that regard. While the interior dimensions aren't much different than the outgoing model, I found the back seat much roomier from a practical standpoint. There's plenty of legroom, plenty of headroom even with a sunroof. It's so comfortable back there that passengers might even use optional features like heated seats and the powered sunshade. Now, cargo space is definitely bigger. It's 14.3 cubic feet in the trunk now, up from 12 cubic feet in the old GS. There's also a giant cutout towards the back of the car, perfect for golf clubs, like this full-size bag I have here, with plenty of space left over. The BMW 535 is similar, it's at 14 cubic feet. With all these changes, Lexus has made the GS a top player in a very competitive segment. And with a starting price at $47,000, they're probably turning shoppers' heads with TV commercials too. Just be warned, before you go into a dealer, do your research, those option prices can add up quickly. For more car-related news, go to cars.com or our blog, kickingtires.net.